to Linda's Pantry and today I am making an orange and rhubarb marmalade. It is so good and so easy because I kind of cheat. I use Momade for the orange marmalade part. I add, I've got two heaping cups of rhubarb here. Um, and if that's not enough, I've got more already washed and cut up and I'm just going to cut these up into pretty small little pieces. Um, because I want the chunks smaller in the in the marmalade. So if you've never had orange and rhubarb marmalade, oh my gosh, orange and rhubarb go so well together anyway. And this is just easy stuff. And this is this could have been a Christmas in July video because I'll be using this over the holidays as well as um, well, just have it on toast. But. I love to cook with orange marmalade and I haven't had any on the shelf in a couple of years. So here we go. We're going to do it. And my, my tin came <laughs> pretty knocked around dented, but I can open it from the bottom side. So that's okay. And because I'm adding rhubarb, which is sour, I'm, I also added additional sugar. So the eight cups required, huh, that's a lot of sugar. It's okay. We're not eating it by the jar full. We're eating it by the spoon now and then um, and at Christmas time to have that orange flavor yum it's so good so let me get this all chopped up I've already got my sugar measured out and uh, so that's nine yep nine cups of sugar um, which you know it's okay it's a sometimes food and uh, I get asked all the time can you use a sugar replacement but I believe the color retention is not there so these are going to process for 15 minutes once I get these in a boiling water bath canner my jars are all in the canner right now and I'll bring you in close so you can watch me fill the jars but let's get over to the stove and get this started oh, my mouth is watering just chopping the rhubarb so I think I got that small enough I like having a little bit of texture to it but not giant chunks of it rhubarb gets really soft really fast and this jam doesn't require pectin there's pectin in the orange peels um, and I I will cook it down to the marmalade consistency so you're gonna cook it anywhere from 15 minutes to 45 depending on how much liquid comes out of this rhubarb. All right, come on in and we'll get this open and in the pot. Okay, so I've got my, my can open. This equates six pounds of um, bitter oranges. It's, it's so good. And you have marmalade, a true marmalade has that bitter quality to it. Um, it's going to have a little bit of a bitter back taste. That's what a true orange marmalade should taste like. With the sweet and the bitter, it just complements each other. It's just like sweet and spicy, sweet and salty. So um, I will leave a link down below on where you can order yours. I get this online. Um, so I will leave a link down there so you can easily go down there. I'll put it in my Amazon store as well. So you can easily access Momade. It's wonderful. It uses the Seville oranges, which are the bitter oranges. And like I said, if I need more rhubarb, I will come back and grab more uh, rhubarb. But we're gonna start with two cups. It depends on the, you know, how much intense flavor they have from year to year. In years past, you know, I've only needed a couple cups. Some years I need a little more. So that's on that one let's get over to the stove okay so I can tell you that um, sugar will turn into liquid when you heat it up so the measurements are for a liquid form on the can it calls for four pounds of sugar if you google that it's approximately two cups a pound so there you go the only time I really use sugar is when I make a jam or marmalade or anything like that. So 
we're going to bring this up to a boil and you're going to boil it for 15 minutes to start with. Check your set. If you need more time, you're going to go ahead and give it some more time. So I'm going to put a saucer in the freezer right now. So I had to move this off the high heat burner. It was just getting too hot and foamed up and all that. But if you let it settle down, it, it goes back down. It's been going a good 15 minutes. I'm going to check the set on it right now. Um, I'll grab my my plate out of the freezer. We'll check the set. And I'm going to tell you the next, the next jam that's coming up going to start right there. I am going to do, um, so just get that set there, a spoonful of that marmalade on the plate and I better taste it. Mmm. <laughs> Yum. You got that bitter orange. I love it. So you kind of see if you if you run your finger through it, it doesn't run back together. It's set. It's, and if you turn it, it's going to try to sheet. Mm. Perfect. So don't hesitate to add rhubarb to your marmalade next time you make it. Mm. Man, I want some toast now. Mm -mm -mm. And when you get a little bite, of the rhubarb, oh my gosh. Yes, please. Hey, I'm gonna confess, I let a, a spoonful of it cool down with a little piece of the rhubarb in there and I really didn't feel like it had enough rhubarb flavor. So I added another cup and a half of chopped rhubarb. It is perfect and the set is perfect and when you get a bite of that rhubarb, it's Oh, it's so good. And I really, I didn't want it to be the first thing you taste, but I wanted it in there. So it's the whole reason why I'm doing this. And you're gonna do a quarter of an inch of headspace on jams and jellies and marmalades. And isn't that beautiful? Look at how pretty. It looks like Christmas in a jar right now. And you can, if you want, you can kind of because sometimes the um, the orange peel will float, so you can stir that around if you'd like. We're just gonna set that over there. Got my rim wiped off, and we're going to get these. There we go. Finger tight. Now my jars just came out of the water bath canner. That's the nice thing about the Fresh Tech. And um, this is gonna go back in and wait for the rest of the kids in the pool. Ooh, isn't that beautiful? Mm-hmm. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I'm super excited about this one. So as I bring or put one in, I'm gonna bring another jar out. So you can see how hot those are. So they've been tempered. They've been sitting in there the whole time this was simmering which is fantastic. And you can stir the marmalade if you want. It's gonna be very liquidy at this hot state, which is nice because when you go to, well, a little bit more. When you go to um, use it, all you have to do is heat it up. If you're gonna use it for, let's say, a glaze on a ham or a pork loin or whatever, chicken, orange chicken. This makes fabulous orange chicken. <laughs> Yeah, I think I got something on my hand. Let me stir that around a little bit. I don't do bubble jams, but I am kind of, I want this to kind of have even, a little bit of even Steven on there. Okay, wipe your rim, finger tip tight. And there you go, in the canner she goes. And I'll be back. I'll tell you how many I've got and I'll show you what they look like in the in the water bath canner, the fresh tech. Okay, I got 10 half pints of orange and rhubarb marmalade. And this has a diffuser. Also, you can use that as your steamer, but that keeps the uh, water from 
boiling hard out of the canner. So I put the down here, the dial is on canning and as soon as it comes up to a rolling boil, I will time it for 15 minutes. I could probably get away with 10, but I'm gonna do 15 just to be on the safe side. And oh my gosh, so I got 10 full pints, but then I have this little beauty right there. That wasn't quite full enough. As you can see, there's you know way too much headspace, but I'm gonna put this in the refrigerator after it cools down, and that is going to be orange chicken later this week. Okay, they are done. They processed for 15 minutes, and then I let them sit in the canner. Look how beautiful. Gorgeous. Now the color is not going to be as light of an orange because the rhubarb, the variety I have is a green variety. So you are going to have, whoop, jars are popping. Um, 10 lovely, oh my gosh. Um, you're going to have a little different color to it, but it would be the same. Ooh, listen to the jars are popping. These are ball lids um, popping on here. And ball jars actually all ball oh yes so that's how easy that recipe <laughs> that recipe is it's delicious it's easy and yeah I try not to tip them too much but it's not as critical in water bath as it is in because these guys usually have sealed by the time you pull them out or shortly thereafter they suck down pretty fast just like that so the heat change okay so I have 10 beautiful jars of jam and I will set this whole um, and I'm making jam again well this is marmalade but beautiful marmalade all right guys let's get this over here out of the way and I'll get some pictures with the sun shining through it. All right. I hope it inspires you to try your hand at an orange rhubarb marmalade if you've got extra rhubarb in the garden. All right. We'll see you next time with using one of these mm, beautiful jars of marmalade on some delicious. So I have to show you the set on this. Look at this. This is a set on that marmalade. Isn't that perfect? It's just, it's, it's still warm, but it's cooled down. It's just lovely. I am super excited about this. No pectin, just absolutely all natural pectin in the skin, but yum. Okay, I get to have another bite. <laughs>